Okay, this is my Honda 450R. It's an 04, the first year that they made them. I had just gotten it out of uh, um, the shop not too long ago and we rode it around, but it had been sitting up for quite a while. And it has, the plastics have dried out somewhat. The seat was dried out really bad. And I've already started spraying it with what I was going to. I use what they call a tire foam. And this one happens to be Armor All. It's not an advertisement, but I just wanted to show, see, I don't know if you can tell just how light the plastic is, how faded the red is. The seat had been dried out so much that uh, I was afraid it was going to start flaking and peeling, which anybody that has anything to do with um, four-wheelers knows that that's, that's not good. And uh, what I do is just spray it on there like this. You can see I already started doing it. And I'm going to eventually take it. You don't even have to wash the thing to, to do this. And what it does is it puts the oils back in the plastic and keeps them where they don't... I don't think they break, but you know, where they, they bend real easy and make that real light color crease where they have bent. I will eventually go and wash it and then do it upright, but I just wanted to make a video and show exactly how it looks when you do it. I usually do the tires, I usually do every bit of it whenever I am in the mood to get it all done up nice, but today I don't have the time to do it. So I'm just going to go over the plastics real good, just get a good coat on it. And uh, when you start wiping it, it makes it look so pretty. And it stays this way for a while. If you just continue on and periodically cleaning it, it makes it look good. And plus, like I said, it, it puts the oils back in the plastics, you know, makes it flexible. And the seat. I'm going to do the blue one in a minute. It makes it look good, too. Of course, I don't think it actually would make one look bad. It makes it look like you actually care for it, which I do. Now I'm able to actually get out and do things with it periodically. Boy, it sure did get dirty. I think it has like five years of dirt caked up on it. Now we have a shed, I uh, don't ever have to leave it outside ever again, unless a tornado comes and ruins the shed, and then we start all over. Up here, that's very possible. Put them on your, your uh, decals, makes them look a lot better. There we go. I don't know if you can tell it. Sure did shine it up good. Whenever I do give it a bath, the wheels and the tires will, will match as far as the shine goes. Now they're just going to stay dirty. Well, parking brake doesn't want to work. 
Alright, let's just put it in gear. And get the warrior out. Try to get the little stand to uh, start on it. Alright. I'll show you real quick how the blue looks. I won't do the whole thing. The video is already long enough. Okay. Now this one had been in hibernation. It's a 2000. The man that bought it originally. It's a 2000 Yamaha Warrior. The man that bought it originally, it had its original tires on it. I put these tires and wheels on it. Um, it has less than two hours on it. Which anybody that knows about an ATV, they measure the usage by hours, I think. And he had done something. The man had some sickness that didn't make him think right, I don't think. And... Uh, it scared him when he, whenever he first got it. I don't think he was used to riding on them. And uh, it scared him and he put it back in storage. That's why the plastics are in perfect shape. The stickers are the original stickers. It was like when we went to buy it and he opened up the garage door. It was like opening up a time capsule. So right now we're going to do the exact same thing. Spray some of the armor off. I don't know if there's very much left in this. You see it's a little bit faded. I had already done these front fenders one time. And the seat, the seat was just very, very dirty. You can see the, the blue is really faded. It had been sitting outside whenever I got it because of being sick. Alright, let's get some more armor all. Let that stuff soak. Well, I think I put it in here. Just bear with me. I don't have it together. It'd be weird if I actually did have it together. Alright. But anyway, when we first, when we bought it, we first went over there to look at it, he opened it up, opened up the garage, and it was like seeing a brand new four-wheeler. It had all the stickers perfect, like I said, and uh, it just had a layer of dust. started right up. And uh, so basically, even though it's a 2000, it's a brand new four-wheeler, which is pretty cool. But this, I'm a firm believer in this tire foam. When you're going to put it up for a few weeks, it'd be good just to spray a good coat of this stuff on it. Alright, get the rag. And watch the, the blue is really good looking. Boy, it sure was dry because it is soaking it up. And the seat, the seat did perfect. And it stays this way. It stays this way for quite a while. But there you go. I think that is probably one of the best things that you could actually do to a four-wheeler that you think a lot of to keep it up. And uh, remember... It's the tire foam. I found that the armor all does really good. I know there's more out there. And uh, until next time, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would like. Any suggestions will be appreciated. Until next time, thanks.